the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. That time of the show where we go to our suggested bets for the afternoon which takes place at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the Poly Track, 30th of January, Tuesday and we'll move on to my suggested bets. I've got a best bet and also got a value bet at around 10 and 12 to 1 and that's going to come on screen shortly and then we'll move on to Devon who will give <coughs> us his bet for the day. Right, best bet, race 1, number 8, Future Saint. I think at around 9 to 10, a little bit sharp in the betting to have a strong bet on the nose, but I believe number 8, Future Saint, will take some beating. The danger will be number 1, Sweeper Keeper. I make it a match race, the first race. But Future Saint came from some 16 lengths behind last time. The form line's been franked, and I think this could be his opportunity to break out of the maiden jail. And then the value bet comes up in race number eight, number five, Perfect Trust at around 10 and 12 to one. I find a lot of value there. I liked her last time out on a small scale. This time I'm a little bit more stronger over the 1400 meters. Last time from 33 to one down 14 to one when running fifth behind Gelsamina. The form line's been franked. There's been two winners out of the form line, and she has taken on the boys three runs back. So I think a 10 and 12 to 1, that'll be my value selection. She has got a few little quirky issues, but the stables hopefully worked her out. And another runner, watch her in the parade ring, watch her go down to the start. If she's not sweating up too much and she strides freely, definitely worth having a little bit of an each way go. Devon, give us your selections, please. Thanks very much, uh, Sheldon. I've got a suggested multiple for the punters out there that's going to start in race number one. That is number eight, Future Saint, trading at around about eight or nine to ten in the fixed odds betting market. Um, do take note that these prices are subject to change because the show is done early. So the first leg is going to be number eight, Future Saint. Moving on to race number four, which is going to be number eight, Jollification for a Place. So that's trading at around about five and six to ten for a place. Moving on to race number six, we're going to go for number three, GM Batista for the win. Currently trading at around about three to one with Richard Fourier aboard. Does have a very good draw uh, on this occasion compared to the last start. Had to make up a substantial amount of ground in the last run. So hopefully this one could be a lot closer to the pace and could just end up in the winner's enclosure for us. Then the last leg, we're playing it safe. In race number seven, we're going to end up with number three, Inga Kara for a place. I do believe that she is the horse to beat. I'm going to be having a little bit of a win bet on number three, Inga Kara. But in terms of the multiple, we're going to play it safe. We're going to take this one for a place. That's also trading at around about five or six to ten for a place. The total bet early works out at around about 16 to one. You've heard from myself and Sheldon. If you go through the preview shows, we found some decent value uh, at Gravel on the 30th. It's on the poly track. And hopefully come Tuesday, you could be in the payout queue. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.